going to tell folks about Chase Abington here a little bit. Six foot two inches, 215 pounds. Abington originally committed to Mizzou out of Fort Zumwalt South High School in St. Louis a couple years ago. Went the junior college route to Hutchinson Community College in Kansas, the same JUCO that uh, Marcus Golden, who we just saw that story about, attended. It's also where Andy Hill worked from 1992 to 1995. His freshman season at Hutch, Chase Abington rushed for 832 yards and nine touchdowns. He also caught 19 passes for 133 yards and a couple of receiving touchdowns. He redshirted this past year to preserve three years of eligibility to play here at Missouri. But you go back to his senior year in high school a couple of seasons ago at Fort Zumwalt South in St. Louis. He rushed for almost 1,500 yards, averaged seven yards a carry, and scored 27 touchdowns. But Coach Jones, uh, I mentioned his size, 6'2", 215 pounds. That's about three to four inches taller, maybe 15 to 25 pounds heavier than yeah, some of the backs we've seen in, in like recent years. two guys years. stacking up with each other. You know? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so I take Murph and Henry Josie and push, put them together. No, uh, Chase Abington, though, bigger body and very talented kid. And, and how does that... Uh, maybe bigger size, help the offense diversify a bit. Yeah, that's something that, that we talked about to the staff where, you know, we wanted to get, um, I'm going to say, bigger backs. And uh, Chase, you know, with what, with how athletic he is and how fast he is and things he does with the football, it's a big guy, it's a big body doing things that a 5'10 running back does. And that is what really stands out about Chase. That's what, you know, that really drew us to him. His acceleration, his speed. Um, but now you take that speed acceleration and, and his cutting ability and put it on a 6'2", 220-pound body. And we are, I mean, we're really excited about him. We really think he's going to do it, uh, be a great player for us. Does he still have the speed that we've come accustomed to? Oh, yeah, yes. He will, he's going to, he's going to, um, be great for us. He's got uh, tremendous speed. I mean, he he may not be Henry Josie fast or Marcus or Marcus Murray fast, but now his size will will bring another dimension. And as I mentioned, you know, it looks like he in his his one year at Hutch expanded his pass catching ability a little bit and and, and rounded out his game some. Is that safe to say? Yes, yes, without a doubt. He's got tremendous hands. You know, uh, he runs routes out of the backfield. Uh, same thing that, that we ask our guys to do. Uh, you know, we ask a little bit more, but now with with his size to be able to put him out as a receiver and run routes also, that's going to be a big deal for us. This was a long process with, with Chase. I mean, he was a, a guy that committed very early in the process in mm -hmm. high school and then mm -hmm. the, the two years at JUCO, which which happens. There's nothing wrong with that. that, no, that right. That's fine. Um, but to, to see this journey through with him, uh, that has to be very special to, to get to this day. Yeah, and, you know, I uh, we spoke this morning, and it's really special for him. He was really excited. He was very happy. You know, he kept saying he, he cannot wait to get here. And uh, I know that he's – he just talked about uh, the journey. Uh, he kind of had to go through a process, you might say, so he can get here this this summer and finish up where he is right now. Um, and it was very humbling for him, you might say, and um, um, put things in, in perspective. And he understands where he is and what he's got to get done, and he's looking forward to being here. 